19th November, Saint Gregory the Wonder Worker. Gregory was born into a prosperous pagan home around 212 and his parents named him Theodore, meaning to say gift of God. They wanted him to become a lawyer. Gregory and his brother planned to attend a famous law school in Lebanon. On the way, they first had to escort their sister to rejoin her husband, who was a government official assigned to Caesarea in Palestine. While in Caesarea, they made a life-changing decision. The famous theologian Origen was newly arrived from Egypt. They decided to check him out and were held spellbound by his true aims of life. Impressed with Origen's oratorical skill, his virtuous life and brilliance, they became his pupils. Origen soon converted them to Christianity and for at least five years they studied theology and philosophy with him. On departing, Gregory made a lengthy and pompous oration of thanks to Origen. When Gregory headed home, he still planned to practice oratory but also wanted to write a book proving the truth of Christianity. As far as we know, he never followed through on the second project, nor did he become a lawyer. Instead, he became bishop. According to tradition, there were just 17 Christians in Neosis area when Gregory arrived. This little group persuaded him to lead them. At the end, Neosis area was a wicked, idolatrous province. His methods for reaching it with the gospel resembled modern ones. He arranged games on martyrs' days and tended the sick. God granted him such success as a healer that many people came to Christ. His cures were considered miracles and from the earliest times he was known as Gregory the Wonder Worker. The transformation in Neosis area was astonishing. If there were only 17 Christians when he, he, Gregory, came, at his death it was said there remained only 17 pagans. According to Saint Basil, Saint Gregory, the wonder worker, is comparable to Moses, the prophets and the apostles. Indeed, his miracles were many, and some of them are 1. He moved a huge boulder that was in his way, preventing the building of a church. 2. He dried out a pond that was a cause of discord between two brothers. 3. In order to stop the river Lycus from its frequent and damaging floods, Gregory planted his staff at a safe point near the river bank. He then prayed that the river would never rise past the staff. The staff took root, grew into a large tree, and the river never flooded past it again. He drove out the demons from idols and people, and a great many more miracles. On this feast day of Saint Gregory the Great Worker, let us ask to ourselves, for the needs of our spiritual life, how many boulders need to be removed? How many ponds need to be dried? How many floods that overspill need to be remedied? However, difficult situations in life 
may offer to us. Let us confidently turn to our Blessed Mother, asking her for these favours.